Welcome to Society of Amateur Radio Astronomers. Radio Astronomy, Constant Variables and Formulas. Lesson 17, Interferometry, Fringe Spacing. For amateurs, we use two antenna interferometry. These are positioned east and west of each other at a distance baseline of B. These are antennas are pointed north or south at certain elevations along the meridian. The output of each antenna's LNAs are combined by either analog or digital means. As the Earth rotates, a target passes in front of the antennas. This is drift scanning. This causes phase concentrations or rarefications at certain angles of the target. These are called fringes. The angle and radiance degrees or time between the peaks or valleys of the fringes is called the fringe spacing. Some basics. When two sinusoidal waves combine, the phase difference of the waves can cause an increase or decrease in signal based on being in or out of phase. You see diagram A, you see the two, in, two signals in the red and the blue are in phase and the resulting ad additive signal is higher uh, than the two uh, initial signals. If these are 180 degrees out of phase, they look like this, the red and the blue, and the final added output is zero. So interferometry utilizes two antennas separated at different geometrical angles and distances to take advantage of this effect. During drift scanning, the Earth rotates, changes the source angle of the antennas. Since the source is an astronomical unit object, the signal comes in at the same angle of both antennas. The distance between the antennas is B. The angle is theta. Let's look at the formulas. If you look at a common drift scan, you see how the fringes come up and down and you see the peaks, the distance between the peaks is the fringe spacing. We'll call that delta theta. To get radians, delta theta is equal to the wavelength over the distance B. That'll give you radians. To convert the radians to degrees, you multiply that answer by 180 degrees over pi. And when you're drift scanning, figure out how many minutes in between each of these peak fringes. You multiply that answer in degrees times four minutes per one degree, and that'll give you the answer in minutes. And note that the four minutes uh, over one degree is how fast the Earth rotates during a drift scan. Let's do an example. You have a two antenna interferometer and you're measuring the sun at 14.20 megahertz with a baseline distance B between the antennas of 10 meters. What is the fringe spacing and radiance degrees and time between fringe peaks? So first you calculate the wavelength that gives you the speed of light over frequency. That's three times 10 to the eighth meters per second over 1420 times 10 to the six per second is equal to 0.21 meters. Fringe spacing and radians is equal to your lambda over B. 0.21 over 10 gives you 0 0.021 radians. Converting that to degrees, you take that answer times 180 degrees over pi, 3.1416. That'll give you 1.2 degrees. And as we said, during drift scans, the Earth's rotating at one degree every four minutes. Therefore, to convert the 1.2 degrees to minutes, you take that times four minutes over one degree is equal to 4.8 minutes. Let's do another example. This time we're going to use 430 megahertz with a distance of five meters. Calculating the wavelength, that'll give you 
three times 10 to the eighth meters per second over 430 times 10 to the sixth per second is equal to 0 0.70 meters. Fringe spacing in radians is your lambda over B is equal to 0.7 meters over five meters. And that'll give you 0.14 radians. Converting that to degrees, you multiply that times 180 over pi, it's equal to eight degrees. And converting that to minutes with a drift scan, that'll give you eight degrees times four minutes over one degree is equal to 32 minutes between all those peaks. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Join Sarah to start your hobby of amateur radio astronomy. Go to our website at www.radio-astronomy.org. Thank you.